Welcome to the first video in a short series where I would like to showcase to you some of D7's features and capabilities. Um, this particular one deals with malware removal, but I won't really go in depth with malware removal because this is a simple one. Um, for this particular demonstration, I've infected a virtual machine with your typical run-of-the-mill fraudulent antivirus software, as you can see here. Um, what I would like to do before we proceed is just restart the computer. Um, I like to make sure that the Trojan uh, has all of its meat hooks into the operating system and we have a nice full infection to work with. Um, now one of the things that this particular Trojan does is infects the H key classes root exe file shell open command registry key. Um, that's exactly what I want to showcase to you about D7 today. There is no reason for this uh, registry value to ever be anything other than its default. Uh, so one thing that D7 does if it detects a, a non-default value is it replaces that value with the default um, immediately without even uh, getting your consent. I hope that's okay. And um, it will also then show you what it thinks is the culprit, which is kind of neat. Unfortunately, <clears throat> D7 is not yet smart enough to just go ahead and delete the culprit, you know, w without prompting you. So here we have the prompt. Um, we can read these words, but I'll cut to the good stuff. Um, this is the string in the registry. This is the, 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 the malware executable that we're after. Now, this uh, string in the registry here actually is repeated twice. That's a bug. I've got to fix that. Sorry about it. Um, we've got a command line parameter here, and we've got a couple of embedded nulls or something I need to strip out um, at the beginning of this particular text box. Once we delete these and we have a fully qualified path and file name to the malicious executable. The light turns green and D7 is ready to delete the file. So just click the button and we get an access denied, of course, because the file is obviously in a running state, um, as you can see in the background. Just click OK. And D7 uh, is able to terminate that executable. Um, it's no longer in the running processes and um, say the shield disappears at the bottom now basically we're done um, that's all I wanted to showcase to you about this particular feature of D7 however there are those of you out there I know who are saying that is not all that infection does and you're absolutely correct there is one more piece which I will take care of in malware scan um, this particular infection infects the start menu internet section. I'm not sure uh, if you're familiar with this, although I hope you are. Um, HK Local Machine Software Client Start Menu Internet iExplore.exe or what have you, Chrome, uh, Firefox, what have you. Uh, shell open command. Um, the default value we know is supposed to be iExplore.exe, but uh, we have this malicious executable there instead. Now unfortunately, here is another area of D7 where it is not smart enough to handle something without your help. So you need to highlight the value and click open reg path. This will take you right to where you need to be. Then you can just change the value yourself. I mean, you know what's supposed to be there and you know what's not supposed to be there. So let's just get rid of that and we're all done. Now that concludes this particular demonstration of D7. Um, we have eradicated this particular malware in seconds and uh, I'm not sure what you charge for malware removal but um, I just made 125 virtual bucks off that deal. Um, now that wasn't a particularly uh, difficult infection to get rid of. Um, you could have done it yourself manually in, in about the same amount of time. Um, I wouldn't say not quite. Um, D7 is a little faster at checking the registry than I am at least. I'm not sure about you, but um, I hope you did enjoy that 
demonstration, and I uh, hope you'll stick around for a couple more. Thank you very much, and have a good evening.